Atiyab Community Development Association is calling on the federal government to deploy more troops and relief materials for persons affected by the recent attacks in the part of Kaduna State. Uh, Habilad Darufai from Kaduna files this report as presented in our studios. The Atiab community in Kaduna State is worried by the frequent attacks they have been experiencing. They suspect they are being intentionally targeted for extermination by Fulani militia. At a press briefing, the national president of Atiab Community Development Association, Samuel Achie, discloses that 42 people have been killed, 12 villages attacked, seven churches razed, and 338 houses burnt with seven people wounded, eight cars, 13 motorcycles, generators, food, and domestic items were either looted. In a continuation of their onslaught on our land, the Fulani militia have unbelievably stormed and unleashed terror, bloodshed, and destruction in the following communities just within the span of two weeks. What is more surprising is the ability of these militia to successfully continue to test the power of the military by carrying out their well-orchestrated evil acts of killing, maiming, and burning hundreds of houses for several hours without little or no intervention by the security forces. Farmers have abandoned their lands, schools have been shut, and the number of displaced persons is growing. Many of them left at the mercy of the weather. Communities that are raised down, as I'm talking to you now. And as a result of that, we now have an IDP camp in Samaru, Qatar, that as I'm talking to you, have over 5,000 people now being housed there because they are rendered homeless. Achie is not only worried about the regular attacks, he's also disturbed by what he says is the silence of the Kaduna state government while violence is meted on persons of Atiab descent. The absolute silence of the government on all these happenings in Atiab land makes us to begin to wonder whether the Atiab people are still citizens of the state because we are yet to see any proactive step by the government to end these killings in our soil. Neither has there been any comforting statement in reference to our situation. The family compound of the paramount ruler of the Atia people and the homes of retired army generals, which are about three kilometers from a military checkpoint, are among those destroyed in the attacks. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.